Recently, another mosque has opened to the public in an effort to further promote the message of Islam and cultural interactions as well as communication. The newly renovated and expanded Al Farouk Omar Ibn Al Khattab Mosque in Dubai opened just days before Ramadan this year. Businessman Khalaf Al Habtur funded the renovations of what before was a small mosque and transformed it into a massive complex of worship and learning. Which was built initially in 1988 and expanded in 2003 and here is the massive structure in 2010 and 11. Of course our mission is to pass the message of uh, the comprehensiveness of the Islam, the peace, the tolerance, the leniency and the, 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 the message that we have human rights in Islam, of course along side by side of the Islamic civilization and Arabic heritage as well. It is by far the most modern mosque in the region. It accommodates 2,000 worshippers and is considered one of the largest mosques in the country. The opulent structure features four minarets, rising about 60 meters, and has a library for research and reading. It also has a lecture hall equipped with state-of-the-art technology. The worship area is topped with majestic domes. In addition, its roof is decorated with Quranic verses and Islamic drawings. Its windows are made of predominantly blue glass, enhanced with stunning designs. The mosque's interior is equally captivating as its exterior, which has outstanding features including the carpets especially manufactured in Germany, chandeliers hanging from the mosque's ceiling, and dozens of earth-friendly copper lanterns with energy-saving bulbs. However, once the imam or the worship leader of a mosque takes his position and starts the azan, which is the call for prayer, everything else seems to stop and disappear for Muslims. It is time for prayer, and it is imperative to perform the ritual cleansing or wudu before entering the mosque. Each prayer has two calls. The first call, we call it adhan. The second call, we call it iqama in Arabic. The first call is to tell people that the pray would start soon. The second call is to tell Muslims that the pray would start now. So it's like an indication to people to come to the mosque and pray. In order to be in a state of purity, you must follow a certain process or a procedure that we call it ablution. Ablution is a terminology that has been used in Christianity and Islam. And it's a cleaning process to be cleaned spiritually, mentally, and physically at the same time. Once the state of purity has been achieved, they begin to gather inside. Right here, at this particular time during prayer, there is no young and old, rich or poor. There are no distinctions. Everyone is equal. People work from 8 to 5. You see, if you are away from your family for almost like how many hours? 8 times sometimes 10 hours? 10 hours away from family? No, don't be that long away from the family. Don't be that far away out connected with other people putting yourself with the right perspective you should be connected with your family with your community and you should be always in dialogue with them meeting with people talking with people and doing good things so your life is not only for yourself but also for other people around you it's been almost a week now since ramadan began and at a time when everything seems to be quieter perhaps it is indeed an opportunity for each one of us to take stock of life around us get to know more about the people and the culture understand the faith and stop long enough to smell the roses ramadan kareem <music>